Welcome to the skeletal system. And there are roughly 206 bones in the average human adult. Of those, you're going to learn about 206. So at this moment, you're probably going, oh my gosh, that's a lot. It's a huge number. And it is. But I'm going to help you to work your way through this in a kind of a logical standpoint so that it's, it's not super difficult to remember. Uh, and we're going to do this through one of two ways. Uh, first, we're going to make it super quick and easy just to take a, a load off of, oh my gosh, 206 bones. Then we're going to divide it out into the two divisions and kind of maybe that will help as well. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, 206 bones, that's a lot. However, if you take your finger and you bend it just like this, that kind of goes, okay, well, we have a bone here, a bone in the middle, and a bone here. So there's three bones in your finger there as you're bending it, and you've got four of those, so three times four is 12. Now, if you look at your thumb, it's a little different. It only bends one spot, so that's, that's only two bones. So there's 14 bones in your fingers. So if we take that, we say 14 times 2, that equals 28. However, if you've ever looked at your feet, you kind of get the idea that the hand and the foot are almost counterparts to one another. So you actually end up with 14 in each foot, or all the toes, as well. So that's another 28, and if you add that together, that is 56. So right there, this equals 25% of the bones you need to learn. Okay, so that's 25%. Well, let's go to the spine for a second. We have 24 vertebral segments in our spine, and we know that 12 of those are what we call thoracic. And if you didn't know, well, now you do. And what makes a thoracic vertebrae or vertebra, a thoracic vertebra, is the fact that it has a rib attached to it. And ribs are typically paired, which means we have two. So we have 12 vertebrae. We're going to multiply that by 2, which then equals 12. So we have 24 ribs total. So if we take our 24 ribs and our 24 vertebral segments, then what we're going to end up with is a nice whopping, 48, and 48 is pretty close to 50, so we're just going to give it the benefit of the doubt, sorry, and we're going to say, hey, look, there's another 25%. So of our 206 bones, 50% are in our digits, spine, and ribs. Three things. Just those three right there. That's not so bad, actually, when you kind of look at it from that perspective. All right, the remaining 50%, well, that's a little bit more tricky, right? Because that's talking about all the names that you've probably not heard of, things like sphenoid and ethmoid and uh, maybe alunate, hamate, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, there's going to be some ones that are a little bit tricky, uh, but hopefully this will really narrow it down and make you feel a little bit less overwhelmed. Now the second way we can do this is we can describe uh, the skeleton in two divisions. So we have our, we're going to do an awesome drawing here of a stick person. So here is our stick person and we're going to go, yay, here's my arm and here's my legs. So when we're looking at this stick person and we said, okay, well this is a stick person's skeleton, there is essentially something right down the middle, right here, and then there is all of this stuff off to the side. If it's right down the middle, we're going to call it the axial skeleton. If it's any of this stuff over here that's attached, we're going to call it the appendicular skeleton. That's horrible handwriting, I apologize. All right, so we have what's right down the middle, the axial, and what's on the side is appendicular. Axial skeleton equals 80 bones. Appendicular equals 
equals 126. And of course, if you add that together, there's our 206. We already know a little bit about what's in that axial skeleton. That's our, you know, 48 bones of our spine and such. Um, the rest of that makes up things like our skull. There's a lot of bones in our skull. The appendicular is a little bit more tricky, but there's a, there's a nice catch to that. So our appendicular skeleton is made up of, so let's kind of draw a little arrow here. This is our upper extremity, our lower extremity, and then the girdles that hold them on. There we go. So the upper extremity has 30 bones in each extremity. The lower has 30 bones in each extremity. And then there is three bones. Uh, that doesn't make any sense, sorry. There is three bones, there we go. I, I don't know what I was thinking now. Uh, to each side. So there is two for the pectoral girdle and one for the pelvic girdle. And then, so three bones on this side, three bones on this side because the girdle is what holds on our extremities. And if you multiply that all by two, we get up to 126. So kind of nice even numbers there with our 30, 30, and then our three. Uh, and then that of course is duplicated to reach our 126. So hopefully, even though I know 206 bones are somewhat intimidating, maybe knowing that 50% is in our digits, uh, spine and ribs, and that we can divide out our axial and appendicular skeleton into these two components. And you know, we, we know that a, a large portion of our axial is rib and spine, and then the appendicular can be broken into 30 bones for an extremity, uh, and then those three bones to each side, and there's a girdle that holds it on.